Hey, how's it going? And today I'm excited to bring you this tutorial on how to display an injured or damaged player's name on the screen and also to display the amount of damage that person is taking. This is actually done kind of automatically for you in Fortnite. I mean, this can be done automatically, but this gives you control over that too if you want to manipulate it in some way and tie it into your game logic. So let me show you what this looks like here. So I've got a turret device in the scene, and then once I get in its way, it's going to start shooting me, and then you're going to see my name print on the screen and the damage that I'm taking. So here we go. So you see, I'm getting blasted and then it knows my name, see? <laughs> All right, so that's that. I've got the turret device and then I just have a verse device and then a HUD message device. That's all I have. And the rest of this is just in the code. Here we have our message and it we have it set up with string interpolation so that we can put in a player type into our message. So that's where our player's name is going to go. Here we have our HUD message device on begin play. Here we basically go through and get all of our players in the game and put them in an array and get the Fortnite character associated with all those players and then subscribe them all to this function that we've created here. And this uses something called a damage result type, which is its own little rabbit hole. I'm still getting my mind around all of this, but basically it gives you the listens for damage events and then it can give you the who caused it and who was the victim and how much damage was inflicted and it's a structure so that's important I did a tutorial about structures and how important they are and you can see they're all over the place here in the verse API so it's important to understand so this is how we access structures that's what's going on here so we can get the target, we get our damage result type and put it as a constant here, damage result, and then we can reference it. So we go damage result, we want the target and we want how much damage is inflicted and we assign that to target and amount. Now this was confusing me a little bit because we have this other thing in here. If I go to source, we have this thing called a game action causer and it's, a, it's an interface and what's interesting is it's set up as an option. So it can return as false. So then that means anytime you see an option, just think I have to call this conditionally because when we call it, it may be empty and that'll cause failure. So you have to call it within a failure context, which means within an if statement or for expression or something like that. So here we're, what we're doing is we're, we're referencing the source of what caused this and we're querying it, it may not come back with anything, so we have to call it within an if statement. And then we're going to just assign that to causer. Now, what's interesting about this is that what we end up with here is just a reference to the agent that caused the agent or the object that caused the damage. This is really just kind of a test was, did something actually come after me in the game? And I, since I know there's only one turret in the game, I know that it was the turret that caused it. So I can cause other logic to happen knowing which devices or which objects in my game can cause damage i can get references to those and then use those in the in the logic but i can't get the name of this object like a fortnite character or anything like that it's just a reference so i can't print anything out from this because it's just this what they call a game action causer it could return that there's nothing there if it comes back that there's something there then i know it's the turret that hit me so that's how i can know to print out this string so it's really kind of interesting getting your mind around that but this is really the main thing i wanted to present today was to print out a fortnite character's name you need the player reference so what we have to do is we have our target up here which is a damageable type see where it says damageable so here what we do is we basically convert the damageable type into our fortnite character and call it damage player then once we have our damage player reference so to speak we can then get the agent for that fortnite character then once we get the agent then we can cast to the player type and once we have the player type then we you see up here we have our message type then we can print our player's name from here. It's kind of a lot of steps to go through just to get the Fortnite character's name. But you can't get like the name for the turret. 
you can just get the reference for the turn. I'm going to do another tutorial on the instigator, and that's a Fortnite character causing the damage. That's harder to test because I've got to get another I got to get another player into the game to show you how that I would test that. So anyway, I hope you found it helpful. Take care. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.